The culture of the workplace when I first started was basically madman squared. I was Peggy. I think I was more like Peggy than the others. I certainly didn't have a big chest. And what you had to put up with in those years was really constant, um, what we call today sexual harassment, what used to be just called life, in Gloria Steinem's famous words. And that was, you know, people commenting on your, <clears throat> on your shirt, your legs, your butt. I remember a boss of mine saying, you have a calipitionist rear end. I said, what's that? And then he described exactly the roundedness of my butt, and I just took it. I just sat there and laughed. You had to laugh it off, because if you weren't cooperative and cheery about all of this, you couldn't, you couldn't survive. You simply couldn't get through the day. So you, you made your bargain with the devil, and you worked your way up that way. Some women had to sleep their way up. I never had it that bad. Although I was almost raped by Brendan Behan, who was an, an author of mine that I was in charge of in the publishing business. Um, and I do know the feeling of being powerless and having to think to yourself, what's my job worth? How much am I going to tolerate uh, without making trouble? Because a woman who made trouble was out. 